Hillary livid after new rule in Washington could prevent her from running against Trump in 2020 by Lady Liberty for VeteranAF.com. Anyone with half a brain knows that Hillary essentially stole the Democratic nomination by intimidation and or a payoff and most people want her punished for it. However, punishment may never come and we have to just deal with that. We can instead do all we can to prevent it from happening again. Super delicate influences may be open for change currently, but in a new rule that is being proposed by Democrats, there would be a stop to ballot jumping for super delegates, and they would have to cast their vote on the convention's first ballot and keep it that way. Hillary had a deal with the DNC that gave her full power over it, and we all know how she did that. This essentially led her led to her ability to basically force all superdelegates to her corner and oppose to Sanders. It was unethical to the max, and yet no one complained. According to the Conservative Tribune, disgruntled Democrats who believe Hillary Clinton unethically earned or stole the Democrat presidential nomination last year just received some terrific news. The Associated Press reported Friday that Democrats are considering moving forward with a plan that would limit the influence of superdelegates, i.e. party leaders and elected officials who, during the primaries, voted overwhelmingly in Clinton's favor, despite a groundswell of support for her challenger, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. But under the new rules, those superdelegates would have to tie their votes on the convention's first ballot to the outcome of primaries and caucuses. The AP reported in 2016, all superdelegates were allowed to support either candidate, and most chose Clinton, and we already know why. As former interim Democrat National Committee Chairwoman Donna Brazil explained in her book published last month in 2015, the DNC struck a deal with Clinton that granted her full authority over it. Clinton pulled this off by crafting a fundraising agreement between the Democrat National Committee and her own fundraising organizations that specified that in exchange for raising money and investing in the DNC, Hillary would control the party's finances, strategy, and all of the money raised Brazil wrote. Clinton essentially transformed herself into the DNC's queen and everybody within the party just followed along like sheep. Regarding the Democrats' new proposal, it would reportedly not affect members of Congress sitting governors and other high-profile party elders. ABC noted a Democrat Party working group known as the Unity Commission intended to meet Friday and Saturday in Washington, D.C. to iron out the final details. Sources close to the commission who have seen working drafts of its current report tell ABC News the panel plans to recommend dramatic cuts to the individual voting power of superdelegates and new rules around caucuses and primaries to improve access for voters and record keeping, ABC pointed out. This plan sounds like a first step in what ought to be a longer and broader push by the Democrats to rid itself of corruption. Honestly, though, the fact that other high-profile party elders would still be allowed to vote for whomever they please raises a lot of concerns. What makes them so special that their individual votes should carry as much weight as entire districts? Absolutely nothing, and until the Democrats realize this, that their so-called high-profile party elders are no better or more special than the everyday Democrat voter. I don't think much is really going to change with this uh, ailing party. 
you would think that after all the uh, exposing of scandals, lies, crimes, and unethical moves by the big dogs on the Democratic side, that the party itself would be pushing more and more to drain its own swamp of the corruption and back alley antics of those higher ups. Thankfully, Hillary lost to Trump because if she had won, the utter degeneracy of the dying Democratic Party would have made sure to consume all it could of America on its way to its death. It will never under, I will never understand how so many people can actually be fooled and leash-led like the libs and Democrats can. It is a play on political and welfare slavery, and yet they fall for it time and time again. Our government is no longer running per the laws of the Constitution and all of the little things added to our laws over the years that basically allow our leaders to be crooked criminals have gotten to be, uh, have got to be addressed. Absolutely. Well, it seems like Hillary's uh, in for a rude awakening <laughs> if she plans on running for 2020. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.